Is the Photoshop clone tool just not cooperating? Hang around, in this video we're going to see how to get past these errors. We're going to see how to get it done in 60 seconds and if you want the nitty gritty details just hang around a little bit longer. Clone stamp errors most often occur because you're trying to clone a layer or an area that is not rasterized, meaning it's text or it's a shape which is vector based. Rasterization means it's no longer vector based and at that point you can not edit it but you can clone it. So I've got text selected and if I try to sample this area here, I click, it says I can't, clone, I can't clone that because it needs to be rasterized. I've got a shape here, try to do some cloning, click here, and I can't because it needs to be rasterized. Now I've got this layer, it's not a shape, it's not text, and if I click on this layer, then I click up here, you can see now I can clone it because this is rasterized. There's nothing complex about it. So just keep in mind, don't clone rasterized areas and you should have a lot of success with the clone tool. And now for the nitty gritty details. Sometimes the Photoshop clone stamp tool can throw up some errors that you don't exactly understand what they're telling you. And that's what we're going to look at in this video. So right now I've got the clone stamp tool selected over here. And this is the clone stamp tool and not the pattern stamp. Now the general functionality of this is that you hold down the option key to select your area you want to clone. So I want to make a clone of say this area here with the yellow, the darker brown of the C, and I'm, I'm sampling that area. So that's where my cloning will start. And I move my brush up here in this lighter red and this is where I'm going to apply the sampling. So what I expect is that I'll get the yellow and I'll get the darker brown from the C up here. But in reality, this is what happens. So I'm not getting my cloning, I'm getting this error instead. It said it could not clone because the error to clone has not been defined. This can occur under several scenarios. And right now, I've got my red layer selected, but what's happening is that I've got this shape layer, which is actually this one here. So if I do this, and you can't clone shapes because they're vectors. And what you can clone is rasterized images, or those images that are like a bitmap or like a JPEG. In other words, they're, they're flattened and you can't edit them. They're basically static and they are what they are and all you can do is destructive editing, meaning um, you can't go in there and manipulate the, L, the image itself. You can only apply things to the image. So another thing that we can't edit is a group. So if I click this now, option click, so I'm sampling this right here and if I click you can see here, I could not use the clone stamp because the error to clone has not been defined. So this is this is a pretty much a similar kind of error. To get around this, I am going to click on my red layer, which is basically a bitmap. So that's that there. And if I sample, let's see right here, just this red, and I go up here to the lighter red, I want to apply the darker red into the lighter red, and that works fine. You can see my crosshair down there is taking all of this and I can get some of this white as well and I can even get this yellow and keep applying it because I started my sampling in the red. I did not start it on this layer with the yellow. And now if I go back, I click this here and I click on sampling. So I want to sample this red. I go up here. I get this error that the shape layer must be rasterized before preceding. So that's a little different from the error I got before. So before I had the red highlighted and I clicked on the yellow and now if I click I can go up here and start applying because I am on my red layer right now. So if I go back here and click this yellow, anywhere on this yellow, I'll get this rasterization error. 
I click on the red, I still get the error because I'm only on this layer, this shape layer, which I can't do anything with as far as cloning. So if I wanted to clone it, I would have to rasterize it. Of course, I would not be able to then edit my shapes. And if I go over here and click my pointer, you can see I've got the shape outlines here and I can resize and do things with the shape. So I don't want to lose that. I'm going to just leave it as it is. And I'll need to click enter so that the transform takes. So whatever you're trying to clone, it needs to be pretty much a rasterized layer. It can't have vectors on it or these shapes. Um, so if I go down here to the bottom layer, which is hidden, I would be able to do something with it, but it's pretty much covered. And I'd need to move some things out of the way. And if I go to these curves, so let's see, not those, because you can't really see those. That's just color curves that are being applied. Here's a shape. We've got this line. If I highlight this, and then I need to click on my stamp over here, do option on this white, go up here. I'm going to get the same kind of rasterization error. So text is going to be the same thing. It's pretty much a vector. I've got this text up here, and if I click any of this text, try to do something, again, it wants to rasterize it. Text will no longer be editable. Right now, pretty much the only thing I can clone is this red, and I've got my all layers selected, not just the current layer or any of the above, so that way the cloning will reach across all these layers. So if I were to sample this right here, go up here, you can see how I'm able to apply it all over the place. But just on this red layer, that's about it. So that can help you, though, if you really want to clone across all these layers and onto some of these other layers or if you want to take a sample of something that you're not able to clone because you're getting that error you can select all layers up here when you have your clone tool enabled and you can basically at that point reach across the layers and apply sampling so I've got this red layer selected which is the one I need to select because the others have shapes or they're text or they're a group so make sure you've got a non-complex layer selected like this one here which is just a flat layer and then I'm gonna click on this text and then I'll I can start cloning although not very well I've got other stuff mixed in here so it doesn't work perfectly but that's one layer to do it I mean if you really want to clone something you can make a copy of your image rasterize it which is just at that point, you can select all your layers, groups and layers, everything. Just um, hold down the shift key and select it all. Then you can go to layer, rasterize, all layers. Now if I click any layer, so this right here was text at one point, and I'll just option click on this text, and I'll go down here. You can see now I can start applying my clone tool to all of that. And so all of these layers have been rasterized. They haven't been flattened, but this allows me to go to specific layers. So here's my yellow that I had earlier. And I click into here to sample. And now I can go up here and start applying what I'm sampling. And I don't get the error anymore because they've been rasterized. They're not flat because you can see here my um, application of this cloning is, is a little bit um, like there's pieces missing in it. So... That's where the complete flattening of everything comes back in. I'm going to right click on this and merge layers. Just merge, just flatten image is what I want actually. Discard hidden is fine. Now, whenever I option click anything at this point, I'm getting I'm getting a little bit more of that looks like stuff's missing because just how just the way I'm sampling. So if I sample here, come up here now it should be filled in a lot better but I'm about to hit the red then it's gonna skip so if I just stay down here to work a little better so those errors that you're getting with the clone tool are mainly related to trying to clone against layers that are not rasterized and these are shapes they can be groups and they can be text but once you flatten those or rasterize them and you can go to layer you can go to rasterize and then layer 
as that. Once you have a layer selected and it will rasterize the one layer, then you can clone it. And if you go up here and use all layers with the clone tool, that will allow you to probably reach the objective you're trying to reach, which is cloning into other layers that are probably rasterized. So if you're selecting a layer, a layer as your sampler, your clone sample, to clone, if you have all layers selected for your sample up here, then you can pretty much clone across your entire image, which I imagine is what you're trying to accomplish. So I hope that helps um, with some of these issues with the clone tool. It can be frustrating in the beginning when you don't quite understand them, but this should help you start getting around those and understanding how to fix those errors and then move on with your cloning. Thank you. If you'd like more Photoshop tutorials, just click on the bottom left video. And if you'd like to see all of the playlists on my channel, just click the top left video. And please don't forget to subscribe by clicking the big red subscribe button. Thank you.